So I've heard and been told about medieval fish and that medieval fish are depicted in super weird ways in medieval art. Uh, and so I downloaded some images that I found online of medieval fish to just go through and uh, look at and maybe judge and try and figure out what the hell they were doing. First image looks like this. This is, I think, the highest quality one I downloaded. I don't know what this fish has seen, but look at the outline around its eye. Also, its lips. Jesus Christ. Three-pronged tail? I've never seen a three-pronged tail in my life. Does that exist? Are there fish that have that? This fish is crazy. It has a pointy dorsal fin, rounded pectorals and pelvic fins, a three-pointed fucking caudal fin, the fucking most chapped lips on earth, and has not slept in years. That's crazy. And then this fish, which looks exactly the same, has a completely different caudal fin. Still three-pronged, but completely different. <laughs> what the fuck is this? This is not a narwhal. <laughs> This is not what a narwhal looks like. <laughs> and then how did you get to this conclusion? You know what? Actually, no. Okay, I see it. I see the logical progression here, right? So you're a scientist in the Middle e medieval ages, and you see a narwhal out in the wild, and you go, okay, well, if that exists, surely this must exist. Are these antenna, or is this the water coming out of the blowhole? Do you think they mistook the water coming out of the blowhole for an antenna? And this is so long, it's like double the length of the thing. I hate this, by the way. This is disgusting. <laughs> what do, I mean, narwhals on their own are weird enough, but les cons de mer is uh, interesting. It's so gross. Okay, anyways, what's next? Oh, we have a whole uh, <laughs> catalog of, uh, of medieval fish here. So, of course, we start off with, I guess this is a sawfish on the head of, like, a dragon with the body of like carp, but it has a horse's mane and the tail is like mane like, I guess like like a uh, veil tail betta or something. What the fuck? I guess this is supposed to be a dolphin. Why is there smoke coming out of its nostril? Did they misplace the blowhole? There's another dolphin from a different angle, I guess. Then we've got this guy who looks extreme. Oh God, okay. So they took out his guts for this image. And there is a fish in his gut, so he has been demonstrated to eat fish with this evil ass look. I don't know what the picture of the dude is for. He's staring judgingly at the dolphin. And then we've got whatever the fuck is this is. Ein an der Art Delfin. I'm assuming that's German. Yeah, this is a whale, but look at the eye. What animal has an eye like this? Oh, is this a dolphin fetus, you think? Not that it ate? These look like guts. Actually, they don't look like guts, but they also don't look like ovaries or uterus i guess they look like nothing recognizable it's spaghetti you know what this looks like this looks like the inside of a um a sea cucumber it's just like noodles basically the organs of a sea cucumber just noodles that's what this looks like this looks like nothing distinguishable maybe it's the womb of the dolphin who knows okay this is um got the head of I guess if you like ignore this going upwards, this has got like, I don't even know, maybe like a lion's head, but then the body is so thick. Look at how much the body comes out. The trunk comes out from the head. How many dorsal fins does this thing have? One, two, three, four, five. Is there anything that has five dorsal fins? It also has, are these three separate pectoral fins? Ah, yes, the triple pectoral fish. And then a normal ass tail. <laughs> right. Who could forget when the giant shark dragons invaded the castle? Jesus Christ, look at this. This is a castle. For scale, this is a castle. And these are the fish. <laughs> he has an eyebrow. Dude, his eyebrows are done. Look at this. His eyebrows were like plucked and <laughs> trimmed and everything for this. It's a toy castle. Oh, I see. A toy castle. A normal size fish. This guy looks like none of the rest. This just looks like a shark. This looks like a normal ass shark with a weird like bristle thing here. These guys are all weird. Are these trees underwater or are they on? no, they are on land and then the water's over here. I see. So these fish are flying. Perfect. <laughs> this literally looks like Dr. Seuss's fucking one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Tell me that's not what this is. 
Tell me it's literally not verbatim that fish that stands up. Where's the standing up fish? This guy? <laughs> this guy. Tell me that is not this. <laughs> verbatim. It's the regular cat in the hat fish with the cartoon. <laughs> this guy? <laughs> yep. That would be him. <laughs> What fish? I don't even want to try to guess. Hmm. Okay. Is he eating the fish? Are the fish swimming into his mouth? Is this a depiction of a mouth brooder? Or is this a weird lion fish eating other fish? <laughs> and also, I like how poorly they they size their drawing. This was supposed to be a border, but they were like, oh, fuck, the tail's not going to fit. And then they put it out here with their five forked tail. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. There's a lot to break down here. So we've got, I guess, like a whale tail and goat legs, but it still has pelvic and pectoral fins. And is this a Spinosaurus or a Dimetrodon dorsal? And this is like Oranda goldfish scales. And the face is like a, I don't even know, like an anteater or something. <laughs> I don't know. This thing is so adapted for everything that it is actually adapted for nothing. This is like we tried to combine every animal to make it able to survive in every situation and we instead created an animal that literally can't even stand up straight or think properly. This is why I love medieval paintings. Forget the fish for a second. What is this guy doing? <laughs> and what is this guy doing? And then they're just on a giant fish, which is consuming slightly smaller fish. The first ever dab. That's what this is. <laughs> this is insane. Did they place a fire and a pot to roast on top of this giant fish, which is eating other fish and they're dancing on it? And who knows what the fuck these two dudes are up to? I love this guy. <laughs> this guy is my spirit animal. This is a fish containing tons of other fish and is Jesus Christ are do fish just eat other fish is this the canon every single fish in this image is being opened up and there's another fish inside fish inside fish fish inside fish fish inside fish fish inside fish there's just a fucking flying fish this dude's stabbing it with a trident what is going on here <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just an, an exaggerated. Uh, yeah, this guy has a gigantic knife. This is a weird image. This one looks like a toddler's sketch on like their math homework. It's like a barb, a barb with chicken feet. Basically, these guys are in this boat like Mamma Mia and the, the lion faced fish is under them. What does this painting depict? Look at this dude's lips. He looks like a Diary of a Wimpy Kid character. How does this boat move? Does it have a sail? It just has a crow's nest? Who would get in this crow's nest? It's barely anywhere up and you could not fit inside of it. You think they're praying? They're praying to the lionfish? Talk about praying. Ah, uh, yes. This guy was uh, attacked by the classic Lypleridon in the uh, city river. And as he's being eaten, he's just praying for his life. <laughs> what do we have here? The tail, the lepto circle tail, reminds me of like uh, some kind of like ancestral fish. But the rows of teeth made of mosaic glass are throwing me off. And then it has like tentacles coming off the operculum. <laughs> okay. Um, this is like also has eyelashes. This is like a barracuda with very beautiful eyelashes. And it's eating this dude's leg and he is um enjoying it? Hating it? I'm really not sure what emotion this displays. Is his name Jonas? Jonas from something to come fish. God damn it. <laughs> I can't read everything. The prophecy of Iona. So I get is this Iona? Or is this Iona? <laughs> right, right. No, yeah, this makes sense. Hmm. He just, I guess, grew... 
Is there a person inside of him, or does the fish just have arms? <laughs> I feel like these people have never seen fish. Yeah, for like people on the Mediterranean who relied heavily on eating fish as food resources, they sure seem like they've never seen a fish in their life. Okay, this fish has actual wings. What the fuck is its face doing? It's like, uh. Okay, this dude's warming his boots. And what are these? And what are they connected? Like dolphin, but with scales? That's pretty much, but it also has fish fins, so it's not a dolphin. It's like a dolphin fish. Ichthyosaur? I could see an ichthyosaur, but they wouldn't have known about ichthyosaurs. So he's just making this shit up. Hmm. Okay. This might be the most accurate one we've had. Minus the face. <laughs> if you cut off the face, this is a pretty, a fairly accurate tuna. But then you get to the face and it's like, okay, no tuna is making that fish. And I love how inconsistent the art is. Every one of them is completely differently proportioned. This actually just kind of looks like a stickleback. It's got a really thin caudal peduncle, which is like a stickleback thing. This one's not bad, and it's made of mosaic too. It's just cool. Like this would be on someone's floor. Imagine you had this on your ba on like your bathroom floor. Romans do their fish. What do you mean? We've seen so many terrible drawings, and we see one good mosaic, and you're like, yep, they knew it. Oh yeah, yeah, they knew their fish. All right. What the fuck is this, then, if Romans knew their fish so well, huh? What the fuck is this? Is this an aloe plant connected to, I guess these are cat, like, lion paws, and then a normal fish top, but three dorsals, so it's like a cod, but looks nothing like it with shark fin dorsals to make a cod. And then is this a monkey's face, or is this like a lion cub face, or is this a mouse? What the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, they're just on their boat at night, and it's like, oh my god, the flyer fish. Look, look, brother. Look who has bestowed their presence upon us. <laughs> his, his eyes are red. He's high as balls. Okay. All right, this actually looks like a, this looks like a sawfish. Kind of. The fin placement isn't great, but it looks like a sawfish. This, I have no idea what the fuck is going on. This makes no sense. Sawfish makes sense. Is this a stingray? Is this a spotted ray? <laughs> Why is it so circular? This is a perfect circle. I mean, impressive that without drawing tools or without computers, this dude made a perfect circle, but they are not quite that circular, my dude. All right, that is all the ones that we have. I think that was a fun segment.